happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? 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 I hope everybody having a wonderful and blessed day today. Today is a wonderful day. You know today is April 7th. You know what's happening tomorrow. It's the national holiday. I want to welcome y'all to the Chosen Not Taken show. I am your host, Rev Roy, a.k.a. Chosen Not Taken. Choose your life. Please just don't take what life gives you. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just having a great day. I just came in from working out, so excuse the time. But you know what? I'm in a good mood. I don't know about y'all, but... It's tailgate Thursday. It's the day before Friday. I don't know about y'all, but I heard that Friday was the black person holiday. I don't know about y'all, but y'all let me know in the comments. Does Friday make y'all feel a little bit different? I know tomorrow is going to be a wonderful Friday for me because it's going to be the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. But also, it's the day of the one and only chosen I take birthday. My birthday tomorrow, I'll be 37 years old. Tomorrow, I'll be celebrating 37 years on this earth. 37 long years uh, through the good, the bad, and indifference. I'm just blessed to be here. There's some people that didn't get a chance to see 17. There's some people that didn't get a chance to see one year. Come on now. Y'all ain't feeling what I'm saying. There's some people out here that didn't even get a chance to celebrate one year on this earth. You feel what I'm saying? There's some people that didn't even get a chance to make it to this earth because they was a stillborn. I ain't trying to touch on nothing, but I just want to tell you why I'm so thankful, why I'm so positive, why I'm so grateful. Because I was given an opportunity that a lot of people don't get. To say that I'm on here, first of all, because I get a chance to talk to y'all. It's a blessing just to be able to talk to y'all. You feel what I'm saying? That's for number one. Number two, let me tell you something, man. It's a blessing just to be alive. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? I just want to let you know, man, I'm 37 years old. I'll be 37 years old in just a few hours. If that does not make you smile, I don't know what else can make you smile, man. I'm just letting you know. What's my calm Mississippi in the building? What's up, Kyle? Excuse me. I'm just letting you know, man. I'm blessed beyond measure. Everybody keep asking me, what you going to do for your birthday? Why you ain't going out of town? Let me tell y'all something. If, excuse me. If I don't tell y'all nothing else, every day is my birthday. Now, I may celebrate the date, but every day is an opportunity for me to thank the Lord for giving me this day, man. Because there's so many people that didn't even get a chance to see 36 years. And I've been blessed with the opportunity to see 37 years old. I'm 37 years old, man. Let me tell you, let me tell y'all a little bit about me, man. Today is about... It's about reflection, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to use this show to uh, to be re- to reflect on things. I don't know what I got on my nose, right, y'all? But it's all good. But what I'm saying is, it was an opportunity for me to reflect back on where I come from. You feel what I'm saying? I came from a, I came from a place called Shreveport, Louisiana, born and bred. It's a blessing to say that I've been there. You know what I'm saying? That's where I was born at. That's where I'm from. That's where I represent. If you had, see the shirt that I wear, see the grove don't fold. Let me make sure I move this microphone. Matter of fact, let me go get my give me, get, let me go get that degree so I cause it's gonna be part of my story. Hold on. Man, yeah, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Check this out, man. Let me explain something to y'all. I'm so I'm so elated to talk about where I come from, man. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana, you know. Uh, it's a place that really and truly, uh, <laughs> it's different. It's, it's home, though, you feel what I'm saying? I never talk about where I come from but because it, it made me who I am, you know. But I could just talk about my experiences and my self-development. And I know a lot of people want to know these questions, and, I, and I'm going to answer them for y'all today. Um, my journey didn't start five years ago. My journey started almost around about 2015. 2015 is when, when it really dawned on me. Uh, 2015, I, I got married uh, prematurely. I got married prematurely. I got married prematurely, and it did not work out. Uh, nothing derogatory towards my ex-wife or anything like that, but what happened is that it told me a lot. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? It told me a lot. It told me about the person I was, the person I am going to become. It told me about the person I'm going to be with. So let me tell you something about fair relationships. Fair relationships are not a failure. It's the experience that you need. Because in a fair relationship, what happens is it makes you understand 
where you went wrong at. If you if you have a real conversation with yourself, that's why I always tell people, "What's up, Karis? What's up with you, baby?" Well, that's why I tell people, man, whenever you get a fair relationship, make sure that you take the best from it, because fair relationships be the best experience ever. Because if you did not go through that, you just don't know what you're gonna go through in the future. You feel what I'm saying? And if you do not appreciate the good, the bad, and the ugly in fair relationships, you will never appreciate great relationships in the future. You'll never understand how to stay away from horrible relationships in your future. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you if you don't if you don't listen to what I'm saying, if you do not reflect back on bad relationships, you'll never know how to appreciate a good relationship. You will never be able to know what to be aware of in future relationships. And you'll find yourself, but the, not not to prolong it. But let me tell y'all something, man. And I'm gonna tell y'all I'm gonna tell y'all what my topic is for tonight, but. I'm going to give y'all a little backstory about me. And, and I want y'all to feel where I'm coming from, man. And, and as my relationship started to decline, my relationship started to decline, what happens is is that it's so important. Because what happened is in 2015, I was separating myself from an, of the old rut and coming into the new rut. And when I did that, I started dating. That's why I tell you, always work on yourself. Because what I did was, was that I just prematurely thought that I, just because I was getting better, I had to go get a partner. Now, I want you to think about this and be honest. I'm just want you to feel what I'm saying. God never gave vision, gave your vision to somebody else. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna touch y'all tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna touch. I'm gonna get on y'all nerves tonight. Check this out. God never gave your vision to somebody else. So when God is working on you, stop trying to bring folks along with you. Stop trying to bring people along with you. Because God gave you the vision. He talked to you. He spoke to you. He's trying to prepare you. Because that's the reason why Matthew 6 and 33 is so important. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. That means all his righteousness. That means when you seeking God, that means you seeking to get right. And all other things bear done to it. So when you need to focus on yourself, say, I didn't, I didn't know about that. I didn't know about that. See, I thought that because I was a certain age, I was a certain place, I'm supposed to have me a partner. What's up, Key? What's happening with you, baby? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I thought I was supposed to have a, a woman with me as I do this because, you know, it's not good for a man to be alone. That's why I tell you to study your Bible. That's why the Bible says study to show thyself approved. But I was in the mindset that just because I was getting this age and I was doing this and doing that, I should have had a woman. But the reality of it is, is that that's not true. Because when I read my Bible and realized that God gave man work before, that means in Genesis 2.15, he said he placed him in the garden. Okay, he put him to work. And when, when, when a man or woman is in that state of being single, work on yourself, baby. God say faith without works is dead. You got to put some work in. And you know what I'm saying? When, when, we, we, when, we, when we got booted out the Garden of Eden, it was no more freebies, baby. He, 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 he tried that You know what I'm saying He tried that He gave us an opportunity To get everything that we want Without working for We didn't want to appreciate that So guess what From that He said That was one of the curses That he put on man now, I don't know if you know Your Bible or not But he said that By you doing what you did Everything you earn You earn by what The sweat of your brow So believe one thing baby You ain't gonna get nothing When I know work <laughs> So you got to work on yourself So if you The man or woman That you really seek and desire that person can only come from after you worked on yourself. They are going to be a direct reflection of the hard work you put on yourself because that's the only person that the better you can choose. See, the, the you that, you know what I'm saying, that's not thinking clearly, you still going to make bad choices. But the clear version of you that you're supposed to be, that's going to choose the right person. So, like I said, I'm nothing against my ex-wife. I have nothing to write to her. I'm not like that at all. I'm, I, don't do, I don't talk about nobody. But just know this here. We separated. Bad situation went on. We separated. You know what I'm saying? No infidelity. That's not that's not what happened because I could tell you right now, like I always tell you about a man, a man wants respect. And once a man loses respect from a woman, it's over with anyway. And and, and I'm grateful for that. So what happened is is that I went from driving expensive cars, living good and everything like that, to being on top to sitting on my mom and daddy couch on November the 29th, 2016. I was sitting on my mom and daddy's couch. Come on, man. November 29th, 2016, I was sitting on my mom and daddy's couch. Looking like a fool. 31 years old. 31 years old. He listened to me now. 31 years old. On my mama's couch. On my mama's couch. Listen to what I'm saying. 
on my, I, that was 2016. I was sitting on my mama couch with nothing. Yeah, had just paid my last few dollars on the on our town home, and I ain't had nothing. I got put out. Just being G about it. And that's why I tell you, work on yourself. Make sure your credit good. Make sure everything on point because no matter who you think love you, nobody going to love you more than you love yourself. You better learn how to love yourself, baby. Because people, you learn a lot about a person when you need them. Come on now. I'm just showing you. Sitting on my mom and daddy couch, man. And the very next day changed my life. I was at the lowest point of my life. I was embarrassed, heartbroken, not knowing. I said to myself, I know when it's spent all this money on a wedding. I'm talking about all this money on a wedding. I done bought a huge ring. And the woman that I thought that I was going to spend the rest of my life with looked me in my face and told me I was not going to be nothing. Yeah, see, see, yeah, I know. I know a lot of y'all over there like, for real, right? Yes. Look me in my face. <laughs> yeah, look me in my face and said I ain't going to be nothing. Yeah. That woman said I ain't going to be nothing, but I'm not mad at her for that. Let me show you why I'm not mad. I'm really thankful for her. Because let me tell you something. She wasn't lying at the time. Hello, somebody. What's up, Free? What's up with you, baby? See, she wasn't lying at the time. See, see, that's what that's what a lot of y'all don't like to admit. The reason why people treat you like that because they saw the way you treat yourself. People treat you like that because they saw how you treated yourself. They saw the way you treated yourself, so they were like, why? <laughs> Why not treat you like that? You don't, you don't care about yourself, so why should I care? That's why I tell you to work on yourself. Continuously work on yourself. Continue to work on yourself. I don't care if you got somebody or not. Continuously work on yourself. Because the reality of it is, is that you never know what can happen. People can pass away. People can break up with you. People do it. But as no matter what people do, walking in or out of your life, you have to remember that you have a purpose that God has put you here for. And you got to continue to work on yourself. But, uh, you know, the next day I get up, I, I get up and, I, you know what I'm saying, I got to work. You know what I'm saying? I got to working on myself. I, I, I get into details without having it. But eventually, long story short, man, I end up coming to Dallas. I come to Dallas. When I got here to Dallas, man, I get, I get a job. And, you know what I'm saying, I, I, get a, I come out here May 13 of 2017. I'm going to get out here May 13 of 2017. I come out here looking totally nothing like I look now. Overweight, baggy clothes, uh, stuff that just wasn't a, a, what God had for me. But I ended up going to get a job Monday morning. I got a job right in a trash field. I started working in the waste industry, as they like to say. Uh, I was in, I had got in school and things of that nature, man. And what happened is, is that now I can look back. I can look back. And I, I, and I will never forget this here, man. I was on my way to Dallas, Texas, May 13, 2017. It was the day before Mother's Day. I was on my way to Dallas, Texas, man. And uh, I was almost in tears. I was almost in tears. I, my eyes kept watering up, man. I'm, I'm listening to... I'm listening to who I was listening to. Uh, was it Deidre Haddon? Uh, Rest in Place by Deidre Haddon. Matter of fact, let me play that. Okay, Google Play, Deidre Haddon, Rest in Place. Don't y'all be wiping no tears on because I got, I'm telling y'all something. Let me tell you something. So so what happened was, was that I'm on my way to Texas. I'm almost in tears. I'm, I'm talking about I'm in tears. Uh, and I get here. When I get here, <laughs> uh, I come back and... I made my mom and them house that they got out here. So I come get to my mom and them house. And then when I get to my mama house, I'm back on their couch again. Ain't that something? I was in the I was on their couch in Louisiana. I come out here to text, I'm sitting on their couch. They still they they still are visiting Louisiana because you know they celebrate Mother's Day there. My mom was like, You you going to Texas today? You ain't I said, Mom, I can't wait no more. Because God had told me, he had told me it's time for you to go. So I come and I hit the highway, $60 on a car full of clothes. I'm just being honest with you. I want y'all to feel what I'm saying. $60 on a car full of clothes, not knowing what I was going to do. Uh, came out here, got me a job. When I got me a job, man, I went on the job five days. The, I had a wreck in the truck. The dude that was training me had a wreck in the truck, man. Flipped the truck over. It was, it was a, it was a roll-off truck, almost like an 18-wheeler. He flipped it. I was flipped over in the truck. And... What happened is, is that, you know, I was out of work, so I was saying to myself, man, this is, this is a mistake, man. I should have went back. And I got down on my knees, and I asked God, I said, God, I said, if you can't do nothing else for me, give me some vision. Because right now, it's cloudy, it's blurry, I can't see, I can't see light at the end of the tunnel. You feel what I'm saying? I, I, you, I'm working at this job. It don't share, it don't have insurance. It don't have no retirement. It don't have nothing. But I'm working here because I'm in a desperate place. You feel what I'm saying? And and 
God said, God said, you have not because you asked not. And he, and he said to me, I've been wondering what took you so long to ask me. Now, let's pause right there. The reason why a lot of y'all don't have exactly what y'all want is because a lot of y'all ain't never just humbled yourself and asked God for it and believe in it. And then and believe in it. But, man, I got here. I asked him for that. Then he, God told me, say, you going to speak. He said, man, you're going you gonna to speak to millions and millions of people. Now, at the time, I was like, now, Lord... I I I don't I don't has uh, you know uh you know I drive trucks you know I work in the waste you know I, I pick up trash cans like what, what? I don't know I, but then I heard Dr. Harrison Jamal Brown say he said God always give you a vision that you can't afford so what happens is is that God has to give you a vision that's so big to accomplish that you know it's only Him that could have done it. You feel what I'm saying? It was only it's only him that could have done it. See, because you can't explain. He say for the vision is yet for a point, point in time, for it would not tear it. Habakkuk two and three. See, two and two tell you to write it down. Two and three teach you the patience that come behind it. When he says, he says it's for an appointed time. That means it won't tear. It won't be delayed. That means it's gonna be on time. It's gonna come at the right time, not your time, not your mom and them time. But it's gonna be there. So, what happened is is that he told me that right. So. I'm not knowing what's going on. I get, I, I keep on going to school. I do what I gotta do, man. I get my degree. Let me show you. Know you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So I end up getting my degree, and you know, you know, I was so thankful to get my degree. I got my degree during the pandemic. It, it well, I, I finished up in the pandemic, and when I got my degree in the pandemic, let me show you how God. This was meant for me to have it. My last year, my last semester, that my last semester while going to school, uh, I had a I had a literature class, and this woman was determined to fail me. Was determined to fail me. I just feel, and it was an online course. She was determined to fail me. I literally was doing my homework, and I just knew I was gonna fail. But through the grace of God, that's why I tell you, what man meant for bad, God meant for good. During the pandemic, I couldn't. We wasn't in class. It was all online. I, I was literally filling this class, and I had sent emails and everything saying that I need this class. I got to graduate, things of that nature. And you know what? Let me tell you. God told me. He he, he told me that I was gonna graduate. I knew I was gonna graduate, and I just was like, man. And I was getting I was getting close. To, I was like, man, you done brought me this far. Why would I? I know I ain't finna fail out, man, because I'm saying to myself, this is a huge accomplishment for me because I'm gonna be the first one with the last name Gardner in order to to graduate. You feel what I'm saying? The last one. Come on now. I mean the first one to be to change my my family last name. Be the first one with the last name going as a man. The first man in my family. Like you could check my family history. Nobody has a bachelor's degree but me. With the last name God. Now I'm I'm serious a heart attack. Now listen, this I'm just showing you something. I just had so much on me. I said I had to break this curse. I had to do what I had to do. We all know for being a hard worker. That's cool. But I wanted to be an educated, hard working man. And I just said, this woman trying to fail me. But the Bible says what man meant for bad, God meant for good. And what ended up happening? The pandemic. Now, while everybody else was stressing over the pandemic, people that really and truly believe in God, they were prospering in the pandemic. Why? Because I got an email saying that nobody can fail this semester in, during the pandemic. Come on, man. Nobody could fail during the pandemic. So that means that I, look here. I had already graduated before I graduated. And it's just amazing that I started school. Listen, listen. I want y'all to hear what I'm saying. I was told to go to school November 30th by my mentor. We'll talk about that story another time. November 30th. He told me to go get my degree November 30th while I was in a barber shop, Broke, lonely. Didn't have nothing going on. November 30th of 2016. I started school the spring of 2017. Okay. Now, 2017, nobody thought a pandemic would come through. But from 2017 to 2020, what happened was, was that I left Shreveport, came to Dallas, built me a career, got my degree. He knew that I had to start school then. That's why I tell you, when God tells you something, it's not supposed to be delayed. That's the reason why I, I love when I hear people say, golly, I should have followed my first mind. Because guess what? Seek ye first. That means your first mind, God was telling you what to do. When you choose not to do it, you delay it, not God. 
Come on now. See, he told me then to go get in school. I started school at that time. Imagine if I would have put it off a little bit longer. I still would be in school today. Matter of fact, I still be going to night classes right now. I wouldn't be here talking to y'all. And my story wouldn't be able to touch nobody. But when, by me being obedient, that's why the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. See, I don't have to sacrifice no more because I was obedient. See, just, just do what I tell you to do. That's what God said. Look, God said, you, you going through all this here because you, you, ain't, you ain't listening to what I told you. That's what God tell you. God tell you that all the time. He be, you don't have to go through that because if I, you would have did like I told you, you would have did that. You would have been all right. So end up graduating. Guess what happened? If I, if I would have waited one more semester, guess what would have happened? I wouldn't have got that grace on my life. Yeah. I'm just telling you what's real. So, so with that being said, with that being said, now let then we play it forward 2020. Let, don't, don't get it twisted. Though. Let me explain something to you. In 2019, I was working a career. I had a career. I was I was I was up for management, moving up the ranks, had the greatest story. I thought I was gonna have a story that nobody gonna start off as a driver, work my way up to management, be district manager, have all these good things. And I got fired. Hello, talk to me. Hello, talk to me now. Okay. But let me show you something. I got fired. I got fired. Listen to what I'm saying. I ain't get let, I ain't get laid off. I got fired. I was lied on and I was fired. I was lied on by people that I had shared my dreams with. Pause right there. Stop sharing your dreams with people. Because God told you. He ain't tell nobody else. God told you. He ain't tell nobody else. So stop sharing your dreams with people. Because when you share your dreams with people, you subconsciously looking for validation. Come on, Listen, when you share your dreams with people. Share. Notice what I said. Share your dreams with people. I didn't say tell people your dreams. And the reason why I say that is because speaking things that are not if it's so is different because when you say it, you don't need, need no response behind it. You feel what I'm saying? But 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 when you share it and be like, what you think? I'm thinking about when you do that to other people, you give them op- opportunity to to you give them opportunity to see what kind of validation that you really need. But the word amen means so be it. So if you prayed about something, said amen, whenever you speak on it, you are already speaking in the positive. So when I got fired, I wasn't shook. I got fired and went back to cutting hell. Because guess what he say? Proverbs 18 and 16. He say, what? For your gift will make room for you. So I had a gift of cutting hell. So that I can never be fired for my gift. So I, I got fired. I went back to cutting hell like it wasn't nothing. I got, I got fired. I saw back cutting hell. It, it, it lasts me all the way until I got my degree. Then I got another. Then I got the career that I have now. And let me show you how good God is. Let me show you how good God is. The company that fired me, they have to answer to me now. Okay. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, the, the 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 company that fired me has to answer to me now. When I sit in that, when I, we sit at a, in a conference room. And I have a conversation with them and, and we talk about things. It, it's you feel what I'm saying? But he says what? He says, Well, stand at the right hand of the Father until your enemies become your footstool. Your enemies will lift you up. Your enemies are supposed to motivate you. Your enemies will put you in places you never thought you would be. Your enemies think more of you than you think of yourself. Your enemies are the biggest blessing if you just think about it in a different way. I'm not mad at nobody talking about me. I need you to. Because you talking about me keep me on the right track. I was just telling my mama that today. I said, hey, I'm going to tell you a lot of times I don't do right because of me. I do right because I don't want nobody talking about me. Now, I'm just being honest with you. I, I don't, listen, I don't, listen, I got family members right now that, that, listen. I got family members right now. Honest to God, truth. And I know y'all got them too. I got family members right now that will tell you all kind of stuff about me. That will, t- listen, they'll, they'll find some stuff on me. They'll tell y'all some things. But that's the reason why Abraham had to get away from his kindred. You know what I'm saying? That's why God said, hey, go away from your kindred. That's why they say that a prophet is not welcome in his hometown. You feel what I'm saying? Because they will never see you for who you becoming. They only see you for who you was. Huh? Come on now. Come on now. Look look at Boosie. Boosie said it best. He the hip-hop prophet. He said rappers get killed well in their hometown. He said, you know what I'm saying? He said rappers get killed in their hometown. Come on now, just think about it now. So I'm listen, it's seven billion people in this world. And whatever that God has for you, it's gonna serve somebody in that seven billion. But the only people it can serve is people that's receptive to it. 
Come on, man. Because what happens is, is that so many people, so many people want to just hold on to the negative till they can't accept the positive. That's because they don't have a real relationship with God. I'm just showing you that. They don't have a real relationship with God. See, when you got a real relationship with God, it'll change all your relationships. See, you stop treating God like a sugar daddy and start treating him like who he is. Okay, you feel what I'm saying? Come on, man. He, he said, don't put no other God before me, for I'm a jealous God. You, 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 you think God is pleased with you putting other things before him? Come on, I'm just, I'm just asking. Can, do you think God is pleased with you putting other things before Him? So when people, when when people say, when look, when people say to me, they be like, "Roy, you so positive. Why not?" My Bible say that all things work for the good. Come on, He say all things work for the good. He ain't say some. He say trust in the Lord, and He shall direct their path, and lean not on your own understanding. See, my understanding is not God's understanding. My plans are not his plans. My thoughts are not his thoughts. So sometimes when you're in a time of turmoil and a storm, you got to start speaking God over your situation. You got to understand that he's God. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. First of all, let's take. The cap off of God. Let's take the cap off of him for number one. Let's get that all the way. You feel what I'm saying? Let me. Just, I'm just. I'm just reflecting, and helping somebody out tonight. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm just helping somebody out there. Listen. Let's take the cap off of God. You know they say that a mosquito. I know y'all heard this before, but they say a mosquito can jump unlimited amount, of, like thirty feet in the air. They say a mosquito can jump up thirty feet in the air, but when you put him in a jar, he's only gonna go as high as the jar allows him to. You feel what I'm saying? So what happens is, is that when you ask in God something, take the lid off. T take the lid off. Because what happens is a lot of us pray according to our circumstances. We don't pray according to what kind of God we serve. We only pray according to our circumstances. See, the only reason why, the only reason why. You live the way you live. You act the way you act. It's because you feel like you deserve what you got. You can tell from your habits, your actions. Huh? Come on, man. You can tell from your actions and your habits why you are where you are. Come on now. I'm just telling you what's real. See, I love to hear people. Talk about outrageous and outlandish things. I really do. The reason why is because I love the belief in it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm just saying though, I, I love it. Because the reality of it is, is that the same people that told me I wasn't gonna be nothing, now I'm getting a hey big head. Now I'm getting a uh I know I just always knew you had an anointing on your life. But you know what I'm saying, but if you knew I had an anointing on my life, why you didn't never come see me speak when I was in the city, when I was in Shreveport? If you knew I had an anointing on my life. But see, because I'm going to tell y'all, so I'm going to share something with y'all that y'all really didn't know. I had started speaking the gospel, preaching the gospel. I was preaching the gospel. Real talk, though. Bought my own equipment. Ran a U-Haul out every single Sunday morning. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all something that don't nobody even know about me. I was renting out a U-Haul every single Sunday morning. Loading it up, taking it to a building, preaching the gospel, not taking no, not taking no kind of salary, none whatsoever, preaching God's word. After that, shut it down, packing everything back up, just to take it back every single Sunday for two years. People don't, know, people don't know that because I, I don't have to brag about what the gift as God has given me. I don't have to brag about what I used to do and stuff like that, and I still won't. The reason why I stopped doing it is because I ran across I ran across so many men of that quote unquote men of God that told me that hey bro you need to start taking more you need to take money you need to start letting these folks know that you the biggest bill don't tell me that because my gift is free God died for my gift I'm privileged to not even have to work for my gift the gift that God gave me to speak is my obligation and my duty that's the reason why y'all see such a smile on my face like every single night at seven o'clock. 
Because I could do this every single night. Come on, man. Every single night. I could do this every single night with no problem. With the same energy. Come on, man. And, and anybody that used to follow me when I first started doing this now. When I first started doing this. Come on now. I just want to let you know this something. When I first started doing this and I was getting three and four people into my life. Come on now. I, was, I had the same energy. I had the same energy. You know why? Because the reality of it is it is a privilege to encourage somebody. It's a privilege to be able to speak into somebody's life. It's a privilege for people to even want to deal with you. It is a privilege to have a gift. It is a privilege to have life. It is a privilege to be healthy. It is a privilege. And I would never take that privilege for, for I would never take that for granted. You feel what I'm saying? I, that is a privilege. I, I, I never understood that how people get so beside themselves to where they feel like they too good for other people. I don't understand that. I, listen, maybe you're not that cold. I just want to let you know you're not that tough. You're not that tough. You, you, you're not that tough. I'm here to tell you today you're not that tough. You feel what I'm saying? And, and what I'm saying is, is that but when I got here, now that I am where I am, I won't take a day for granted. I won't take a day. When I say a day, I'm not taking a day. I'm not taking an hour. I'm not taking a minute for granted. God told me I'm going to speak to millions and millions of people. Let me tell you something. We had 330,000 on TikTok. We on 330,000 on TikTok. We had 330,000, baby. Yeah, we had 330,000. <laughs> Come on, I just want to show you. That ain't about me. It's about if you just be yourself and be what God tell you to be. Come on, man. I'm just saying that if you just do what God tell you to do, everything else will fall in place. Don't don't listen. You can, don't listen. Don't be nobody else. Just be yourself. Do you know how disrespectful it is to try to be like somebody else when God has gave you so much? I just want to. Do you know how disrespectful it is? God sitting back saying this self. Now I gave these people all this gift. And they would rather be somebody else than what I got for him. That's that's what I think about. That's what I think about. When 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 I think about when I think about how good God has been to me and me on everything that I've been through is for my testimony. He did not get that vision to nobody else. He didn't get that vision to nobody. He gave it to me. So when people tell me, "Well, I think you should do this," guess what I do? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. But guess what he's doing? Cause I'm gonna tell you something. It ain't never. It ain't never the people that, that's following me that, that that give me advice. I, I'm serious. On it. it ain't never. Let me tell y'all something. And this, and I, this go for y'all. It ain't never nobody that's following you or supporting you that give you advice. They don't give you advice. People that ain't. Let me tell you something. People that follow you, they love you. People that support you, they love you. It's always the people that don't follow you. It's the people that don't support you that will tell you everything that you need to do. Let me get country for a minute and drink some of this jug. Got to get that gallon in a day. But what I'm saying is, it's always the people that do not support you and don't follow you that tell you what you need to do. Let me tell you about what happened. Before I started this, I had wrote down my goals at the beginning of the year. What I was going to say, I was going to start podcasting. And I was going to, I was going to, I was really, truly going, I'm going to get a one million, I'm going to have one million followers for the year out. Um... And we had 330,000 here in April. So, that's the first quarter out the way. So, think about it. If we get, I'll go even further. So, um, so I'm going to have one million followers. I said, I'll start my YouTube. I got I got to start new. I got I have to write a whole new set of goals. The only one I ain't passed yet is, and the only one I ain't got yet is the one million followers. And it's coming. And it's coming. You feel what I'm saying? Oh yeah, anybody that do t-shirts, please hit me up in my DM. Please get cuz we got to get these t-shirts going. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't see nothing that I can't do because I know I serve a God that's limitless on what he can bless you with. So I know I know I know I don't want a little bit longer than what I was supposed to, but let me let me let me let me let me let me kind of segue into something else, but just know this here, man. You can use me as an example. Baby, I came out to Dallas, Texas five years ago. Make 13 or make five years ago. I came out here with $60 in a car full of clothes. So whatever person that's, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Any person on here tonight 
that has a dream or a vision and they know God's been talking to them, talking to you. If you know God has been talking to you, listen. But let me tell you something about listening to God. You got to be prepared what comes along with it. You're going to have to cut some people out. You're going to have to become selfish. You're going to have to focus on you in order for you to really and truly get everything God has for you. Baby, I, I, listen, I can tell you right now, I haven't dated in five years. I haven't dated in five years. Yeah. Come on now, I'm just, let me show you something now. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. For, 30, for 31 years, going on 32 years, I dated. I did everything under the sun. That didn't work for me. God say this is a season of you listening to me. So what I started doing was I started trusting God. I said, God, I, I, you tell me when I get to what the man that you want me to be, then I start dating. Hello, talk to me now. I'm just, see, don't nobody want to talk about that. See, I might have a date here and there, but it hasn't been nothing serious because what happens is, is that when God has something for you to do, you got to do it. And that's not for everybody, but I'm telling you about me. And by me putting dating on the back burner, it made me realize how much emphasis I put on dating in my life. See, the reason why a lot of y'all can't really and truly prosper because you start worshiping your partner. Hello, testing one, two, three. Can y'all hear me loud and clear? The reason why a lot of y'all can't prosper because you start worshiping your partner. You 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 were single. You were praising God, praying every day, doing this here, and 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 as soon as you get somebody, that be the first person you talk to in the morning instead of talking to God. That be the last voice you hear at night instead of getting on your knees and praying. When you were single, or when you went through that heartbreak, you was Asha La Honda, Asha Babushka, everything. I'm talking about you shouting from head to toe. But as soon as you met somebody, okay. As soon as you met somebody, come on now. As soon as you met somebody, you look up again. Listen, when you were single, when you didn't have nobody and you were single, you wasn't getting felt on. You wasn't drinking. You wasn't smoking. You wasn't, look, you, you, ooh, my Lord, you had turned into a nun. You was almost like Mother Teresa all of a sudden. But as soon as you met somebody, it gets to the point where you say, well, you know one drink ain't going to hurt. You wasn't even smoking weed, but dude, you want that man so bad, you start smoking, hello, talk to me, somebody. You start smoking weed with him. For I am a jealous God. Don't put no other God before me. And, and a lot of y'all don't even know that y'all worshiping people and, and don't have and don't know it. A lot of y'all worshiping people and don't even know it. Come on, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you what's real. Like, like, because I know it. Look, come on, man. See, see, I I done had real conversation with myself, baby, because I done did it too. Don't get it twisted. See, I look at trying to be look here. I, you know, I used to, you know, I was a good kid. I was a good dude. You feel what I'm saying? I just did little things, stuff like that. And but then I fell into that trap. you know, uh, you know, I like a thug. So you know, I try to be tough. I, I had the Will I had the Will Smith syndrome. You feel what I'm saying? I, I wanna I wanna cater to this woman, but the reality of it is, is that can I tell y'all a secret real quick? He said, I never leave you nor forsake you. I never seen the righteous forsaken or they seed beg for bread. That means beg for bread. That means God do not want you begging for nothing. So anything in your life that you got to beg for, it's not for you. He said, you have not because you ask not. He ain't say for you to beg. And when, when, when you start changing who you are to fit somebody else, you're begging. You're sublimely begging. Because let me tell you something. The words not spoken speak it the loudest. The words not spoken speak the loudest. So, baby, when you start doing things that's outside of who you are just to be with somebody, you all the way out of line, baby. You, 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 you all the way out of line. I've been there, baby. I've been there. I Listen, I've been so wrapped up into to somebody. I just, I'm just lying for no reason. I'm just lying just to be just going through it. And let me explain something. Them folks be knowing you lying, but guess what? That, those are users, and they're going to use you up. They are going to use you up. They are going to use you up. And they're going to leave you with nothing. And they're going to go be with somebody that's going to treat them like trash. <laughs> you don't believe me? Just pay attention to it. 
Because if you if you be honest with yourself and you look at yourself now and you see what they going through, you'll say to yourself, you know what? You know what? I thank God for understanding. That's why he tell you in all things get understanding. He said in all things get understanding. That's why I I, I know I, I just I refuse. Lord, Lord, let me tell you something. If you want to see me speak in tongue and, and glory be to God, walk out of my life. College. Because once you get a grasp of what God got for you, when you get a vision of what God has for you, when you have a vision, when God show you who you supposed to be, you say to yourself, I would come on. When when God show you who you supposed to be, you you listen. You listen. Let me I can't tell y'all. Y'all would dare somebody to tell you, I leave you. And I promise you, when you get to that point, that's why I say I'm a confidence coach. So baby, I, I look, I, I can't change the situation, but I promise I can help you change the way you look at it. My mind. That's my part. That's my Jana. But check this out, though. Uh, when you get that confidence, because see, God never told, God told you to be humble, not desperate. To my wife and children. When when you 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 humble, not desperate, baby. You 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 desire, but you ain't desperate. You desire, but you ain't in despair. You feel what I'm saying? If you want to peace out, that's right, nigga. Hey, bye. Because anybody that wants you won't leave you. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. Uh, anybody that wants you won't leave you. That's why I don't understand this toxic culture. I don't. I, you ain't got to chase behind nobody. I don't understand that. that, that that's not what God intended for it to be. Because it said that a man should leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife, and you cleave into some. Take a meat cleaver. Meat cleaver gets deep into that meat. It get, it cleave into that meat. You know what I'm saying? And any person that any person that even think about leaving you, they can't leave you because they feel like they leaving some behind. Come on now. Yeah, see, people that don't want to leave you, they feel like they can't leave you because they feel like they'll be leaving something behind. You ain't got to chase after nobody, baby. Let me clear that up with you. You ain't got to chase after nobody. I don't chase them, I replace them. Because you get, you, get so, you, get so, you get so wrapped up in the belief that you have with God till you know one thing. If I keep following God, the right person will be there. Come on, you ain't feel what I'm saying? Anybody that walk out your life, they were meant to leave. Don't don't I know you I know your human side of you gonna say I hate they gone and that's understandable you're not you're not perfect but baby I promise you time heals all wounds yeah faith come by hearing and hearing of the word of God because if you start listening to God's word you start paying attention to God's word hearing it you'll hear what God's telling you and God gonna tell you I've been trying to take you away from that fool male or female I've been trying to take you away from him. but you ain't wanna listen. You feel what I'm saying? I I I'm, I'm, I got tired. Of, I got tired of you. You talking to me about them because if you if you really and truly think about it, the God that you really and truly serve, think about it. You already know that you're dealing with somebody you shouldn't be dealing with, but yet and still you keep going to God about something. He said God does not dwell in an unclean vessel. So if this situation is driving you crazy, it can't be of God. But people love to say, people love to say, you know, without, oh, without struggle, there is no progress, according to Frederick Douglass. They love to say, uh, 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 do trouble may not do for the night, but if joy comes in the morning, they love to say, uh, it's, it's not given to the strong or the swift, but those who endure to the end, that ain't got nothing to do with the relationship, baby. Hello, talk to me. I got a question for y'all. I got a question for y'all. You know, I ain't, I ain't just, I'm, I'm not the smartest man in the world. I'm not the, you know, I'm not the most biblically sound person in the world. But how many arguments did Adam and Eve have? Hello, how many arguments did Adam and Eve have? Okay, did one get put out the garden and the other one stayed? Nah, they both got put out together. And that's how you gotta, that's how you gotta be in your relationship. We, if we gonna get put out, we both gonna get put out together. Come on, if we gonna get both get put out, let's both get put out together. Come on now, I'm just, I'm just saying. If we both gonna get put out, let us get put out together. Come on, man. I'm just saying. If we both gonna get put out, let's get put out together. And see, that's the reason why. That's that's the reason why you. That's the reason why a lot of relationships not working in today's time. Cause one get put out, they'll be like, well, they better find somewhere to stay. What you mean? We sharing our body with each other, and I can't. I ain't got nowhere to stay. 
Oh, okay. That's why I tell anybody, man. Uh, if anybody come fill on you and get put their clothes on and leave you, uh, and it's just you, it, it, the key is gone, and you there by yourself, and somebody come fill on you, and they get up and leave, and it's, it's, it's they get up and leave, especially if it's two o'clock in the morning. Why are you leaving? I'm just saying, I'm not condoning that. I'm just saying, though, if, if it's two o'clock in the morning, they still put their clothes on and leave. They ain't for you. Hate to tell you the truth. Hate to tell you this, though. Hate to hurt your feelings. They not for you. I'm just saying, though. You see, and, 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 and you have to, I'm just being honest with you. Be, because if somebody come over to your house, listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. And what happened is we got to a point where we try to normalize that, but deep down inside, you do not feel good after that. So stop lying to yourself. Stop acting like you don't care because you do care. That's not the person for you. Anybody can come over to your house and it's just you there by yourself. And you ain't got to get up early. Go man, Even if you have to go to work early in the morning. It's just common courtesy. If you like somebody, if they come over there and feel on you and they don't want to stay. What's understood don't have to be explained. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> We're jamming my boy H Town today. Gotta get my cushion right, man. But yeah, though, I'm just telling you, listen what I'm saying. That's not the person for you because God wants to give you the best. You feel what I'm saying? If, if God wants to give you the best, that's why the Bible says in, in Proverbs 10 and 22, this is one of my favorite scriptures. The Lord's blessings make you rich and bring no sorrow with it. There's no but to God's blessing. There's no but to it. Yeah, I got, yeah, I'm with him, but I got to deal with this. Yeah, yeah I'm with him, but no, no, no. Because their imperfections make them perfect for you. Let me say it again. Your partner's imperfections make them perfect for you. Yeah. Yeah, their imperfections make them perfect for you. So, you're not going to get a perfect person. You're not going to be in a perfect relationship. But I promise you, this, it should be more good than bad. It should definitely be way more good than bad. There's no but to God's blessing. Yeah. I, oh, I, I, oh, I got the woman that I want to be with. That's like, I've been dating. Listen, I've been dateless for five years. For me to go get a woman. Listen, say, I, so just so I can say I got her. But I got to put up with this, this, and this. You feel what I'm saying? The way I look at things now, if I got to put up with this, this, and this, that's how many times I'm going to say bye, bye, bye. In the hospital. From to I'm just telling you what's real. If I got, listen, let me tell you something. I'm not putting up with nothing that I don't have to. Now, as a man and being responsible as a man, I understand that nothing's going to be perfect. Let's get that out the way first. I totally understand that there's going to be things that I'm going to have to work. I promise to God. Because human, you two human beings coming from two different sections of life. Y'all was raised different and stuff like that. I understand that. That's cool. That's why I tell you to pay attention to the things that, that are not momentary. That's why I say date for where you're going and not for where you are. Date for somebody that's going to be a great father, a great mother to your children. Th date for somebody that's going to be a, a provider. Date for somebody that's going to make a, ho a house, a home into, you know, a house into a home. You feel what I'm saying? Date for somebody that's going to be there on things that you know. And how you can tell that is by the way they treat themselves. You can tell it by the way they treat themselves and the way that they treat you. Because, listen, you can buy me everything under the sun. That don't mean you're going to be nice to me. Um, do you hear me? Uh, you can act like you're the best person in the world, but you you don't never clean up. See, because this is what's going to really be going on when we stay together. You feel what I'm saying? See, that's why I say date for where you're going. See, if you dating for, like, you saying to yourself, okay, we're going to have a home one day, and you go by their apartment, and every time you look around, it's always nasty. It, it ain't never cleaned up. That's what you're going to have to go home to. Come on, kid. I'm just telling you what's real. Yeah. Pay attention. Yeah, cause see the representation when they come visit you, they can do it all. They can they can make sure everything extra. They, they can scrub a little extra. They can brush their teeth a little longer. They can do a lot of things when they come to visit you. 
But when y'all really and truly get close to each other, start paying attention to things. See, when the honeymoon phase is over, that's when you really know who you're dealing with. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? That, that's, that, that's what's happening. You, that's when you really know. That's why I tell you to slow down for a minute and get to know somebody. That's why I tell, especially women, be cool. Don't, don't hurry up and have sex. Take your time. Because if a man wants you, he wants you. If he don't, he don't. You got the greatest, you got the greatest gift that a man can get. I, I'm here to tell you today, ain't is no man that's a real man that's bragging about how much money you make, baby. That's a good thing. That's a great thing if y'all gonna be partners and things like that. But initially, he saw you, thought you was fine, and he wanted to get to know you. I'm that's just all what it boiled down to. That just listen, I, I the heat listen, because a man did not approach you. And and, and and it was like, oh, my God, she looks like she makes a lot of money. whoop de freaking do whoop de freaking do That's exactly that's exactly what he's going to be saying. What a, he going to be like, that thing, I know she tough. And then he going to tell him, let me tell you, we're going to tell him, like, man, man, say, man, man, I met this thing so tough today at Walmart. And because, first of all, when y'all really that tough, y'all are no longer human beings. Y'all are that a thing. And don't take offense to it because that's a compliment. Hey, I say, hey, partner, man, I met this thing, you know what I'm saying, my little, yeah, you dig, you know what I'm saying, well, now, oh, okay, okay, well, you know what I'm saying, what, what, you, what you seen that, I seen that up there, you know what I'm saying, at Walmart, For real, oh, okay, man, that was so, what, what she look like, notice he ain't asking, my homeboy ain't asked me now time, what she do for a living and all that, man, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm over there going to get me, you know, you know what I'm saying, some, yeah, I'm, you know what I'm saying, that's what I'm doing, and then we going, that way, and then she gave me my number, so like, okay, then that's what's up. Then I'm going to have to tell him. My partner's not going to ask me. He's not going to ask me that because my partner could care less. He understand that you just bad. Then I'm going to be like, yeah, and then get, boom, then she do this here. Oh, that's what's up, boy. That's good. He, then he going to say, how many kids she got? And I'm going to be like, you know what I'm saying? She got one. You know what I'm saying? She got one. Whatever. Woo, woo. Oh, okay, then. Yo, you good then. That's what. That's how men talk. That's how men talk. Oh, he good. You good then. Come on, man. I-N-D-E-P-E. -E. Come on, man. Yeah, she got no kids or one baby daddy. I'm just telling you, that's how men talk. That's how men talk. Because we're not worried about how much money you make. Because a real man know that he he's going to have himself together. To where, you know what I'm saying? He's going to have himself together. To where he ain't tripping off that. Because he got himself in a situation where he can bring in somebody. You feel what I'm saying? Now, let me, get, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me let me let me put this disclaimer out here. A real man. This is a look at this. I'm just talking about the initial meeting now. Let me get this cleared up for those who don't, don't make sure they take this the wrong way. Uh, that's the initial meeting. That's the initial meeting. But baby, you can't be unemployed if you plan on keeping that man. Now you ain't gotta have no job to get felt on. You ain't gotta have no job to get felt on. That's just being honest with you. You could be as unemployed as you want to be, and he gonna take you ID. And he going to nail you to the cross. But you're never going to be his girlfriend. That's the honest God truth. Yeah. Let me say it again. You could be as unemployed as you want to be. And you can get felt down. But baby, you will never be the girlfriend. You will never be the one he take home and take serious. Never. I'm here to tell you today. That's the honest God truth. It don't take much to get felt on. But it do take a lot to be wifed on. Hello, talk to me, somebody. I'm just telling you the unadulterated truth. I'm, this is my last day being 36 years old. I'll be 37 in, in a few hours. I'll be 37 and I've been on the earth 36 good years. I promise you right now. And I stand for the good Lord of bull. The good Lord. It don't take no job to get felt on. You can get felt on and not have no job. No problem. That's the easiest thing going. But baby, my happy birthday. Whoever birthday tomorrow too, happy birthday to you. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the happy birthday, love. Look here. You can, listen. Man, I'm, let me tell you something. You can have no job. And a man will take you out. And he will feel on you. He'll make you feel like y'all to do something that y'all y'all doing something y'all got a connection like no other, with no job, cause it ain't that serious then. 
He could feel on you. I'm talking about, look, you gonna, let me tell you something. With no job, you can at least get three dates. I'm just telling you what's real. With no job, you can at least get three dates. And, and, and on top of that, you're going to get a few dollars. Let me say it again. With no job, you can get three dates and a few dollars. I'm telling you what's real. You know what I'm saying? You, listen. With no job, you can get three dates and a few dollars. You might get your nails did, toes did. I don't know about no wig. Now, we ain't going to talk about no wigs. Don't bring it up tonight. But all I'm going to say is that you can get that. But all I'm saying is that if you're trying to get wife, see, it don't take nothing to get wife on. I mean, to get felt on, but to get wife on, that's a different story. Because a woman with no job, she's going to get on your nerves. A woman with no job is going to get on your nerves. You feel that? Just being honest with you. Uh, a woman with no job, she's going to get on your nerves. That's the honest to God truth. Because she's not doing nothing. You feel what I'm saying? That's just the honest girl truth. Now, me personally, if you ain't got no job, you ain't even get felt on. You're not even to get felt on. If, if, you, if you ain't got no job, I'm not even feeling on you. Because let me tell you something. Speaking from, just speaking from what I know. Broke men and women are a fool in the bedroom. Hello, talk to me now. Ain't nothing more dangerous than a homeless sexual. I didn't say a homosexual, but a homeless sexual. Somebody that's sleeping with you, trying to get a home. Them people there. Oh, hello. Let me tell you something. Them people there will literally rock your world. Will have you tongue twisted, toe curling, eyebrow rising, eyelash flipping, eyes rolling in the back of your head. Because they 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 got a purpose. That, that I'm talking about. Listen, what I'm saying, y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. A homeless sexual man, and they 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 pounding to get them. A, they trying to find somewhere to sleep for the night. I'm talking about they trying to get them somewhere to sleep. And they they, they, they going to put you to sleep just to stay there. Well, you know I ain't lying. Man, let me tell you something. I tell any, man, all my partners don't know that about me. Man, I'm not scared of no man with no money. Man, I don't scare me at all. I swear to God. I swear, man, I swear for the Lord. I don't, I don't worry about no man that got a... Man, look, if you got the bankroll, I ain't worried about you because you got too many options. You got too many options. You, I ain't tripping off you, homie. And you got to, you, man, you could be a millionaire, being there with it. I'm not scared of you at all, kid. Man, you, look here, I'm going to put pressure on you. You, you, I'm pressured with it, that. But, but you, you talking about that one that's on his cousin couch? One that's on his cousin couch? And what the same thing two days out the week, at least two to three days out the week? Man, he's dangerous. I'm scared of him. I'm scared of him. He's dangerous. He will have your woman. He will have your woman thinking about him all day. You taking her out the roof, Chris. You buying flowers. You paying mortgage. You paying bills, and all she gotta think about is that homeless. Cause that man gonna oh we. When I say in the great words of pops, he say from the rooter to the tutor. Man, when I tell you he gon' he gon' he gon' lick from toes to the crown of your head, he dangerous. Man, that man gon' ooh we. That might listen, let me tell you something, man. Uh, man, I'm scared of a man like that. I swear to God, I swear for Lord. I'm I'm serious. Lord. I'm scared of a man like that. I ain't worried about nobody with no money. Man, I ain't tripping out that cause if you leave me for a man with some money, you're going to have a lot of problems. You know what I'm saying? Because he's going to have a lot of women on his jock. He, you know what I'm saying? Everything. I ain't tripping up that. But that homeless sex is going to make you fall in love. He going to make you fall in love. He going to make you fall in Listen. He always going to be by that phone. What's up, baby? Hey. You know, you, you call me. I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? I'm at work. I'm like, hey, babe, I'm at work. I'm going to have to hit you back. 
You on your lunch break. You got 30 minutes to an hour. You ain't got nothing else to do. Let me just call and see what he's doing. Call. Boom. Hello? Oh, what's happening with you? Hey, I was just, you know, I was just on my lunch break. I was just calling you. You know what I'm saying? Then he, then he gets sad. Let me tell you something about that homeless sex. He gets sassy. He gets sassy. He get, oh, yeah, your man must be working or something. He want to throw a little jab because he ain't got no little job at job. He flexing. He flex. He acting up. Yeah, he, you know, he, yeah, he working. He always working, you know. Oh, that's what's up, man. Shoot, that's what's happening. But you're a good woman, though, you know. At least you, you try to stay in contact with your man and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it. Oh, so you finally decided to call me, huh? Yeah, I, I know, but you know, I know you probably think I'm a bad person. That's what y'all be wrong at. Y'all know y'all be dirty. Y'all still, y'all want to ask somebody. Now y'all know y'all cheating on y'all man, and y'all had a dad to ask the other person to get to get some insight. I know you, I know you think I'm a bad person down about You know, give me a. He gonna tell you, nah, baby, I don't think you no bad person. No, ain't nothing wrong with everybody having a little friend or something. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You just eating it up. You just eating it up. And then he hits you with the so you know what I'm saying. Uh, I, I'm trying to figure out like when can I get a chance to see you? Well, you know it's it's kind of you know I don't know about that now. This phone call that's about all we could do, but I don't know about that because I'm I, I've never cheated before. <sighs> Lies you tell. Lies you tell. You know what I'm saying? Then you then you eating it up. Yeah. So what you like to do? Sure, you know, but I really just been chilling. You know, I'm in between jobs right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I ain't trying to put no pressure because you know you you seem like you you kind of high class and stuff like that. See, when he hits you that high class, he he really humbling you. Cause get what you gonna hit him back with? No, not at all. Like I like the simple things. Like I don't really care about gifts and all that. You know, I, I like simple things. I need I, I want some time. Come on, man. Stop playing, man. Come on, man. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and that goes on so long until eventually one day it'd be like, well, let me see you. I mean, you get into it. You my old lady. We get into it. And then he tell you, well, shoot, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not too far from you. Come see me. Then you go see him. Then look, when you go see him, he hit you with, well, since you're heading his way, you know what I'm saying, baby, you don't mind stopping my chick for late for me, huh? Oh, no, nah, that ain't no problem. I can stop for you. Ain't no problem. And now you tricking. Now you tricking. Now, okay, Google, play uh, Ace Town. I'll be your special kind of fool. Lord, I'm really, that just touched me to my heart. Just, uh, All right, special kind of fool. You know what I'm saying? Here it is on YouTube. Come on, man. Now you tricking. You know what I'm saying? Then his birthday come around, then you going to buy him a polo shirt and some Air Force Ones. Then you look up again. You out with your, look. I'm going out of town. You with your homegirls one night, man. He hit you up. You over there getting felt on on an air mattress. You getting felt on on an air mattress. And he and he putting a show on. I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it. He putting a show on too, boy. I'm talking about he turned that he turned that album into a waterbed. I'm talking woo wee. And then I call you, you got an attitude with me. I ain't did nothing to you. You got an attitude with me. I call you, what's up, baby with the business? What's up? What's up? Like, what's wrong? Like, what's up, baby with the business? What's up? Like, what's what's wrong? What's up? Nothing, I'm just having a day. Like, I look, what's up? Like, baby, is anything I can do for you? Like, nah, nah, ain't nothing you can do for me. Like, I'm good right now. I just, I'm just having one of those days. Oh, okay, then, well, shoot, baby, you know what I'm saying? Just, just take your chill pill and just, you know what I'm saying, and just chill out. All right, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't mean to be like like that, but I, I'm just having a day. Get out the phone with me. You know what I'm saying? Joe Blow called. It's like this, hey, I was just thinking about you. What you mean? You was having a day when you talking to me. But then he called him. I'm telling you, cool. I'm telling you, hey, cool. I listen. That's why I tell you, man, I ain't scared of now, dude. No money. Man, I'm homeless sexual. <sighs> man, that boy got a purpose, man. I'm just. <sighs> you'll be out of there. You'll be out of there. You don't even know it. This one, this one is a hit, though. Let me tell you how it always ends. 
when she realized when when you know what I'm saying when she realized that she not the only one. And I can hear her calling her home girl now. Man, you know Joe Blow been acting fun with me. I've been calling him, he answering the phone and everything. Woo woo. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm at work doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I, my woman is really stressed out in the streets. She is stressed out. Wondering where Joe Blow at. You, you know what I'm saying? Got my, look here. She jumping in my truck driving past Joe Blow house. She jumping over. I'm talking about, look. Come on, man. She, she, listen. Man, she driving by Joe Blow house. Joe Blow, Joe Blow acting funny with her. Then he, she passed by Joe Blow house. He, she see another car out there. She, she texting. Oh, so you got that B-I-T, you got another B-I-T-C-H, B-I-T-C-H over there. Oh, 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 that's how we doing it? I'm at work just oblivious. Bro, what you doing this weekend? Nah, me and my gal, gonna, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do a little something with Woo. Just not knowing, Joe Blow been blowing my gal back out. Telling my girl all kind of dreams. And now she's stressing. She's stressing over Joe Blow. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about she's stressing over Joe Blow. Joe Blow ain't got nothing going for himself. Joe Blow ain't got nothing going. And then she tell my home, I can't believe I fell for this broke. I for this broke, you know what I'm saying? I can't believe he broke. He ain't got nothing else going anyway. She talking all that noise, Joe Blow call. I'm going to call you back. Hello? What? He hit you with the sweetness. I'm just saying, though, like, how you mad at me? You got a whole man. That's true, but still, though, I thought we had to understand. Oh, man, listen. You gone, baby. You, 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 you gone, baby. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stressed out. I'm like, oh, it's, you gone, baby. It's so weird. You gone, baby. It's so weird. Come on. I, th- I thought we had to understand. I just can't believe you treat me like this. I don't do what I did with you. I don't do what I did with you. I'm just oblivious. I'm just at work doing my thing. I'm at work just, you know what I'm saying? Looking like a straight fool. Like a fool. That's why I say I don't I ain't worried about that, man. But <laughs> that's what's happening, man. But look, man, it's 807, man. I been appreciate y'all listening to me tonight, man. I know I done talked all night. We ain't had too much of a topic tonight. I just want to have a little reflection with y'all tonight, man. So it's time for the questions and answers. Whatever y'all want to ask, my must reply. Just know I got to tell you the truth. I cannot lie. So, hey, man, from 8.07 to 8.30, baby, it's all open up to y'all. Whatever y'all want to ask me, I got to answer to it. So what's happening with you? It's up to y'all. Turn this music up a little bit. Definitely enjoyed you once again. I showed her appreciate it, baby. I appreciate the support. Oh, oh yeah. If y'all want to get the one-on-one session, please hit me up in my DM. If y'all not friends with me on TikTok, hit me up in IG. We'll set up a DM, set a DM up uh, in a time for us to do a Zoom call. That's how we do. We do Zoom call. Uh, you let me know in the DM what time and date that you want to do, and then we'll set it up from there. I'll send you a link, and when I send you a link to let you know how the one-on-ones go, we'll do that. We'll do it like that, man. Uh I'm telling you, man, the one-on-ones have really and truly helped. I got a testimonial. I'm working on my website, restructuring it again. This got to be the hardest thing it is, man. So that's just what it is. So uh, I wear uh, I wear 38. I wear 38 in pants, man. I wear 38. But, yeah, though, that's what it is. So with the one-on-ones, man, there's no one thing, man. It's something that I really encourage people to do. If you have anything, relationships, fit- fitness, uh, just just a confidence. Like if you, if you just want to build some confidence, I'm going to get ready to put an e-book together. To where you have step by step To where you can uh, appreciate the love The birthday love I'm putting a step step by step program together Where you can build confidence So just in case you don't want to have a one on one You'll be able to purchase a book uh, That I'll be able to give out uh, I'm going to get those books out And I'm sorry, some of my lucky people are going to get it for free Some people are going to have to get it I'm um, saying I got to pur- purchase it But I'm going to have it to where you can really read it And watch step by step It's some of the deepest stuff I got going And how I overcame depression, anxiety Things like that because don't allow yourself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't 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 get yourself in a place to where you use things to subside uh, your your pain and things like that. That's how addictions start. When you get addictions, that's how it start because you try to you try to replace something with something. I want you to be able to hold yourself accountable, deal with your problem, move forward, and have the confidence to keep moving forward. So that's it. What motivated or motivates you to change to a healthy lifestyle? Man, life. Uh, just be honest with you. I just want to be an example for people. 
I just really and truly want to be an example for people. I want people to know you don't have to be a celebrity. You don't have to be anything. You just have to be you. And and I promise you, man, if you just be you, you can help people out because people will definitely see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't use no skincare none of that. My heart just pure. You feel what I'm saying? That just being honest with you. Happy birthday! I appreciate the love. That one on one definitely gave me more insight. I appreciate the love, baby. Most certainly. I'm just telling you what's real, man. It's just life, man. I really and truly, I am who I am. What y'all see is what who I really and truly am. All I do is work, work out, and go to work. And uh, I try to read, so I'm, therefore I'm able to be more, more of a help to people. Diverse diva, what's up with you, baby? Diverse diva in the building, what's up with you, baby? Let me tell you something. I just really and truly have a diverse diva. Tell you how this thing started out. I, ain't, I didn't have 158 people in my life when I first doing this thing. It was 30, 40 at the most. Sometimes I'm talking. I start out with 10 people in there, but I had the same energy. I had the same energy because I know this is my calling. This is what God has for me to do. Because I know I, I know I use God as the forefront, but I break it down to a place to where you know you I'm like your relative, your cousin, to where you can really truly talk to me. I don't want you to feel like I'm somebody that, that worship me off. I'm like, no, no, no. I just want you to look at me and know one thing that I'm human just like you are, and everything that goes on with me has went on with you, and we family because of that. That's just being real. The same energy. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Diverse D was on there at the time. I told him my uh, girl had catfished me one time. She was over there cracking up, but I'll talk about that on another day. What time do you usually work out? My, yeah, I'm going to tell you what happened. Uh, what, during this long week at work, when I have a lot of work going on at work, I normally go to the gym at 3.30 in the morning. I get up at 3 o'clock. I beat up by 3.30 because I got a gym in my apartment complex. So I'm in the gym at 3.30 in the morning. I work out from 3.30 to uh, 5 that way I can get my you know get my one on one time with myself and then I have to be to work for seven six thirty. I have to be to work for six thirty. Uh and that's it. So that's what's up. How can a guy talk to you? How can a guy talk to you for a month? You vibe and then it stops out of the blue for no reason. He really wasn't into you, baby. And I don't mean that no disrespect. Is there anywhere I can go back and watch this from the beginning? Most certainly. Uh all my TikToks, I put them on my YouTube channel, Chosen I Taken eighty five. I, I put all of them on my YouTube channel. So check the link in the bio. That's my YouTube channel. Lit, and that's just what it is. Uh, is that anyway? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 3.30. Fix it, Jesus. Yeah, man, I have to because uh, like this week here, this week here is a long weekend for me at work. So I definitely have to, I have to go there early. And then, to be honest with you, when I get out of work, I still do a little extra when I get out of work. Hey, you have, have, hey, you have not replied back to me. What what I don't I don't if I miss you, hit me up in my DM over there IG. Put hit me on my D, uh, DM and uh hit me in the DM and IG and I promise I get to it. Got a got a fellow fellow you on YouTube. Hey, check me out on YouTube. First off, show was great. I always happy birthday, make up. I appreciate that trust and believe, baby. Appreciate your support. I don't go to bed until three. <laughs> That's what's up. How can you be with someone thirteen years and you, how can you be with someone for thirteen years and you just into every day? I'll redo the question, baby. I ain't really get that. We went to the same school. We went to the same school. Oh, we went to well, we went to Wiley. Oh, that's what's up, baby. That was it. What's your shirt? Say? I wear a large, baby. You know what I said? I'm, I'm, I'm two. I'm two. Well, I'm two thirty eight now. I lost 14, 15 pounds right now. You say Wiley? Oh no, you don't. It wasn't Wiley. What? What it is? Chosen not taking acts. One on. What they say? What questions I got? Honey, it's H- you know with HHS, baby. I'm street put to the bone. You know my radar for life. Y'all equally, yo, yeah, most certainly, man. Don't, don't ever. Nah, man. Let me tell you something. Like I said before, man. People want to walk out your life. Let them leave. Because even if you let them stay and they dip, genuinely don't want to be there, they're gonna definitely. They're definitely gonna be uh out of line. Tam Tam Tam, what's up, baby? E seventy six in the street, man. You know see the road on fold, man. You know see the road on fold. What's up, Tam Tam? What's up, baby? Appreciate Meek Meek, I appreciate the love, baby. Meek will be showing them love on them gifts, man. Let I me mean, big shout out to Meek, man. She show love, man. Even though she a Milwaukee Buck fan, it's all good. Y'all cheating over there with that with that that monster in Giannis. Giannis is a monster. He just took the league by storm. I just don't know what the he just done took over. My poor boy KD just knew that when LeBron was gonna decline, it was gonna be KD. Man, Giannis said he ain't. Giannis said he ain't going for that. He ain't going for that. Onto the keep Kumpo. 
onto the coupo. Yeah, I know how to say it, man. He a dog, you know. I really, you know, I, I wanted to be a sports broadcaster. Happy birthday. I appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. Uh, I just want to let y'all know. Now, I'm just letting y'all know now. Let me, let, me, let me be honest with you. You know, I ain't one of them people. I'm not a big about fuck. But I do receive all cash apps and Zales. All ca- matter of fact, all cash apps. The link is in the bio. Cash app is in the bio. Well, it, I don't care if it ain't number one dollar. Thank you so much. Glory be to God. You feel what I'm saying? I just want to let you know I'm accepting all gifts tomorrow. Because tomorrow is a King's Day. You know what I'm saying, baby? I'm just being honest with you. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. I, I'm not you're looking at thank you in, in, in advance. Thank you. I don't care if you do nothing. Be say I'm gonna send this. I'm gonna send this crazy fool a dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a glory. Hallelujah. I'm telling you now. You, yeah, if you send me one dollar, I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I just there go the gift. Thank you for the gift. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm taking all gifts. Telling thank you. I'm gonna make me a listen. I'm gonna. Make me a video in the morning, and then the day after, I'm telling everybody thank you for uh, for uh, sending me my love. I don't care what it is. That's what I said. If we meet up with Dallas in the playoffs, that's what's up. That's what's up. I'm telling you that now. I'm telling you, man. I'm sending you tickets. Send me tickets then. That's what I'm talking about. Send me tickets, and I'm gonna be up there. I wouldn't care if they're the, the highest row up in the arena. I'm going. I'm, I'm taking off that day. The finest man on social media platform. I sure appreciate it, bro. You better watch out. Ah, you better you better watch out now. Afraid to love again. You afraid to love again? Nah, baby. Nah, that ain't where it's at. God is love. I'm sending a request. That's it. What you doing for your birthday? Living. I'm. I'm. Listen. Every day of my birthday. I'm not going out. Let me tell y'all something. And see, y'all be making me go over my time when I get to talk about this here. This is one thing about me. You are very handsome. I love you. I love you too, baby. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's the braces for me. Yeah, I'm ready to get them off now, just being honest with you. Listen, one thing about me is that I treat every day like it's a blessing, man. It's real talk, though. So it, whatever I choose to do, I'm going to do it. It don't have to be on my birthday. It's been whatever, man. So it is what it is, man. I just appreciate it. I'm just thankful for y'all. <laughs> Rick, can you smile for me? Don't make me blush, no. You over your time because you show out toward it. And you know I'm finna show out now. I got a question for y'all. Why do women get photo shoots for their birthday? Y'all know I'm finna, you know I'm finna talk about that, don't you? Y'all know I'm finna talk about that. Why do women have to get a photo shoot for their birthday? Like, I don't understand it. Why do y'all go get a photo shoot for your birthday? Memories What you ain't gonna be G.Y. what's up with you baby Step on sister Let me tell you something <laughs> Yeah I just smile But what I'm saying is Why 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 do Women do photo shoots For their birthday And why they have to be sexy Like why they have to be Just over the top Like why they have to be You in some lingerie Or you in the nude Or something like that Why they got to be like that You feel what I'm saying I just wanna know I just wanna know You feel what I'm saying New pictures for a new child Okay I just be wondering why I book a. I never understood why I book a photo shoot when y'all phones. You know what I'm saying? I just I don't, I don't understand it. Oh no, I don't go with that. That's for okay. I was fully dressed. Women are extra. That's why I, I respect that answer. I respect that answer. I can't tell you, but that's just real. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Some stuff the phone can't capture. Okay, hello, sir. You want, wanted to show love. Cali born Texas Ray What's up with you baby Milestone Celebrate new beginning That's what I'm saying I just wanna know I be look, Every time I look around Every time I look around They be like I'm finna go, I gotta get a, I gotta book a photo shoot For what It's a good excuse That's real I like that I like that Ty what's up with you baby What the business is Man listen I be wondering Why they wanna get a photo shoot For their birthday I be like For y'all birthday Like Something about the camera I like that That's real I love taking my own pics. Okay, then. That that sounds kind of a little erotic. I'm going to keep that at a two, though. But listen, man. That's, that'd be the same thing. Listen, man. <laughs> and you know what else would trip me out? I love to hear women talk about how I like to travel. I like to travel. Okay, that's cool. All right, that's cool. All right, you want to travel. But why you want to travel? You want to see new places, right? But you go to new places and do the same thing. 
Like you go out of town and you you go to clubs. Like I'm just asking a question. Right? Can we turn up a little more for your birthday tomorrow? Oh, we gon' hey listen. Tomorrow, listen. All I'm gonna say is I'm taking the gloves off tomorrow. I'm telling you now. We talking about anything that y'all want to talk about. I'm bringing people on tomorrow. We acting up. We listen. I was <laughs> like, shout out to my boy DJ Will on, on TikTok. He said I'm safe. And still a little ratchet. I'm acting up tomorrow. I don't know about y'all, but I'm acting up tomorrow. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you that now. You know what I'm saying? I'm with the yeah to the yeah. No gloves tomorrow. It's over with. It's over with tomorrow. I'm acting up tomorrow. For real though. I might have a shirt and tie on tomorrow just to act up. I might reenact Kevin Samuels tomorrow. I might have uh I might have me a red bull like he do with the glasses on and all that. Yeah, pull out the turntable. You said you could be a DJ, right? Hey, you just never know me tomorrow. You never know me tomorrow. You know what I'm gonna act like tomorrow? I'm gonna act like I'm gonna act like them women that only get good wigs during income tax time. I'm gonna leave that alone. I, that's all I'm gonna say on that. I'm all I'm gonna say on that. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that. Now I'm just saying though. I'm gonna act. I'm, act, I'm acting up like them females that buy them income tax wigs. Y'all know them income tax wigs. See them into income tax wigs are different. From them regular wigs, you know what I'm saying, baby. You know you normally get the yeah, yeah. You know you normally get the two to four hundred. You don't never get the, the eight hundred dollar wig. You know what I'm saying. You don't never get that until income tax time. Yeah, like that though. See, cause the eight hundred dollar wig, the eight hundred dollar wig, it look like you coming fresh out the water. I'm talking about you. You that have flow, that flow, that have be glossy and everything. But that two hundred to four hundred wig. Be looking like this on top of y'all head with that part in it. It be so heavy on y'all head. It be so heavy on y'all uh, lace well there. That's what the lace said. Lace is there. Yeah, I'm talking about some lace well right there. That's what that lace said. Yeah, yeah. But ain't nothing you can do, baby. It's old way. It's a different than income tag wig. Them income tag wigs are different. You know what I'm saying? See, cause when you when you when that curling iron bump it, see when you bump that that good wig, man, that good wig, them curl be bumped, them curl be ha ha. You feel what I'm saying? That them with ha, you know what I'm saying? Like them curls be ha ha. When you do when you bump that uh that cheap wig with that curling iron, you gotta you gotta tap it. You can't bump it. You gotta ha, and get up off of it real quick. Cause see you, you if you leave it on that too much, gonna smell like some burnt carpet. You gonna smell like some burnt carpet. You gonna smell like some burnt carpet. See them good weed. You can put them curl knives on and stand now. I'm talking about y'all be sitting now. Y'all, y'all turning so many. See when it's that good weed, y'all just y'all just be in the mirror like this here. When it's that good, when it's that, when it's that good, and then y'all sit there and wait, wait for a minute, and then y'all slowly unroll it. And let it do. You know what I'm saying? Let it come up out of there. Then it come out of there. Then you pat it. You know what I'm saying? You pat it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Then no curl be looking like that though. No curl be looking like that though. You know what I'm saying? No curl be sitting up there like that though. Be stepping in. I'm talking about y'all be stepping in like that. That's how y'all be stepping in. I'm talking about y'all be all the way up. The curl be just like that though. Then y'all be throwing them. I'm talking about it be just that serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about y'all. Huh? Then you be on the phone with them. They be. Huh? Huh? I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I don't know. They, <laughs> they hold their head down like this up. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. Then they, then y'all unroll it. Then y'all put it down and then y'all, y'all touch on it. Y'all the weirdest people in the world. I swear to God. I love women. I swear to God. Y'all, y'all are amazing. Because y'all. Then y'all hold it down. When y'all hold it down, then y'all. Come on by there. I be like, ooh, this is amazing. That, that's how you listen. I, to, I'm, if I got any fellas in here, that's how you know if she got a good wig or not. How them curling eyes. How them curling eyes can sell. See, because cheap wigs can't let that curling eyes stay on there that long. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they. You know what I'm saying? They, then they. Then they spring it out. And then they. Oh. They got hit that spritz, made them sit on a kind of still. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Them cheap wigs, them cheap wigs be sound like, be sound like this here. 
<laughs> that what they be sound like. They be sound like they just they have to get it off of them. You can't hold that line on that too long. I'm talking about it be over with. I'm just telling you what's real, man. Y'all know I ain't lying. Yeah, I be watching. Man, I, I, let me tell you something. Any man, I'm telling you, I, I observe women. That's the difference. That's what I'm saying. Like, when, when all you're trying to do is fill on a woman, you don't notice these things. But when you get to a point where you really trying to get to know somebody, you got to understand what's going on. Cause, cause you got to understand you you dating for a purpose. So like when you dealing with something, you dealing with women, you be like, why they do the things they do? He gonna make every woman on his line step they wig. Please do, and I hope I do. I hope I do. I hope I do. I hope I do. Man, y'all listen, man. Y'all stop buying them cheap wigs, and y'all stop letting anybody install y'all wigs. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. And stop letting people miss over your leave out. Stop letting people mess over your leave out. Don't let nobody mess up your leave out. What do you know about some leave out? What do you know about that? What do you know about some leave out? Yeah. 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 What about them nails? Let me tell you something. Baby. Baby. Let me tell you something. I'm not going nowhere with somebody with some claws. I hate them long nails. I'm serious. I hate long nails. You know what I'm saying? They all said to leave out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Leave out. Like that though. I hate, I listen. I hate them nails. I hate long nails. Like, I look, I be like, why? Baby, just keep it simple and sexy. What is all that for? Like I hate them claws. That's exactly what I be feeling like. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like I hate that. I hate long. I listen. I hate long nails. And the reason why I hate long nails is because that like y'all do too much when y'all get them long nails. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all do too much. Cause y'all gonna let folks see them nails. I don't care what you say. They gonna see these nails. You gonna get to talking with your face and t- touching your face and rubbing your face. When you don't live with when women go get them nails done, they show their hand off more than a woman that just got engaged. They show them nails off more than a woman that just got engaged. <laughs> That's all you see. That's all you see all day long. Just- hate them nails man i hate them nails i hate nails i listen i hate them long nails i hate the uh, I, I hate eyeshadow i hate them different color eyeshadows oh lord jesus and listen man simply sex with me baby get you some lip gloss oh you know what i'm saying some lip is a lip gloss it's a, listen if we going out somewhere put that sexy red lipstick on baby you know what i'm saying i like that you know red my favorite color i'm with that i'm with that but you know, get your look. If we just going to the store or something, baby, just throw on a little lip gloss, look good, like be a woman. But that's cool. But but all that other stuff, I don't need. I, I, just, I just I can't rock with it. Yeah, the peacock, the peacock, the red, the blue, and purple coming down this way here. You looking, you looking like a rock star. You looking like somebody in back background dancing for Prince. I, I'm not. I'm not with that. I'm not. I'm just not with it. That just is my preference. How long you been on? I've been keep missing you, big now. I'm just saying though, I've been on since seven o'clock central, baby. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, I just hate that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, what else I don't like? Let me tell you something else. Let me tell y'all something else, man. Listen, you know, I, I, yeah, I'm just telling you what's real. I, I seen a video today. You know, you know. Yesterday I asked y'all about why y'all wear them shorts and stuff to the gym. And as soon as I got, that's how I know TikTok must be listening to something that we be talking about. Because they, I'll show a video. It was a woman that had kind of said that, you know, a man was being a pervert by looking at her. Uh, he was being a pervert looking at her in the gym. And she had some shorts on that literally, literally gym out, cheeks out, that type of stuff. And I'm like, she was like, she told me, he not, baby, what it, what the man supposed to do? Like, what is the man supposed to do? Your cheeks out. Like, what? He's supposed to, you know. Man, that's why when I be in the gym, this is no cap. Anybody ever seen me in the gym 
when I'm not in the gym at three something in the morning, when I'm in the gym in the afternoon, I promise, I promise on everything I love, people will tell you, anybody that's seen me, if I've been on answer the phone or anything like that, I have my hoodie on. I have my hoodie on. I don't even look up. I really don't. And if a woman is on a machine that I know she's doing something, uh, you know what I'm saying, dealing with her booty or something like that, I promise you, I don't even go that area. I don't even go that way. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even go that way because it's really just that bad, man. It's like the gym. The gym it's like, what, what are we supposed to do? I don't understand. What are we supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? I work. I put a hoodie on. I put my hoodie on to keep my head down, man. And it's sad that I got to do that because, I, you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? It's sad that you got to do that because you don't want to make nobody feel uncomfortable. But how about my feelings? How about my feelings? You got your cheeks out. How you know that don't make me feel some type of way? How would you feel as if I reported you? Hello, talk to me, somebody. Yeah, what if I reported you? I, that's you not. Know I'm gonna start that campaign. I'm gonna start that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna start that campaign. I'm gonna start a campaign. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm listen. I'm gonna start a campaign. When you see women come to the gym with their cheeks out, report them. I'm reporting y'all. Y'all compressing, short wearing, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm reporting you, cause y'all women are gonna respect me. <laughs> You're gonna respect me. Then look, then why y'all always got listen? They, they will give me about y'all too. I know I'm over my time, but I'm saying why y'all always why y'all come to the gym in a shirt, but y'all always have to lift the shirt up over y'all booty, like you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta lift the shirt up over that, you know what I'm saying? That dumpy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I noticed it about y'all. Why y'all be doing that? Why y'all be in the gym and y'all had a shirt and then y'all put it over y'all. Y'all just, y'all just lift it up in the back back here. It be long in the front, but then y'all lift it up over the back. What y'all trying to show? What y'all trying to show me? You be hot. So why 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 you on, why you on tied up? Why you, why you want to cover the front up, but you want to lift the back up? I'm just asking. My back hot. Yeah. Yeah, you write your back hot. Yeah. 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 Looking at our progress. What you progressing on? If you lifting up back of your shirt, what are you trying to show me progression on? That little breeze be motivational. What be breezy? But let me know what be breezy. Your cheeks, that's what I'm saying. See, that's that's somebody walking in the prophetic. See, that's somebody walking with God. The honesty. Look at that. That's it. Man, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if y'all listen, man, it's okay. That thing be thangin' cause it's a fupa in the front. <laughs> listen, man. And another thing, before I get ready to go, man, ladies, if you come into the gym to get you a man, stop it. Because we can tell who coming there to get them a man and who don't. If you come to the gym, if you come to the gym at, if you come to the gym and you got a full face beat, your full face is beat, and you're on a treadmill for 30 minutes and don't never break a sweat, we know what you're there for. Just being honest with you. If you got a full face of makeup, just being honest, if you got a full face of makeup and you've been on a treadmill for 30 minutes and you ain't broke not one sweat, we know what you're there for, baby. Stop it. Just stop coming. That's just being honest with you. That's just being honest with you. It's all weird. That's just being honest with you. I, I, you know. And then my thing be like, if you're on the, in the gym, baby, listen, if you're on the gym, you know what I'm saying? If gym, let me tell you something. If, if you're in the gym, have respect for other people. Don't get on the machine and get on the phone. Do your, do your set and get off of it. I hate to see people in the gym that come sit on the machine and do, and do everything. They just on, they on their phone. They just sitting there holding the machine up because they on their phone. What you doing? That's what's up. Well, man, look here, man. I appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. I appreciate everything that y'all done. Thank you for the support. Uh, you know, tomorrow's my birthday, man. I appreciate everybody with the happy birthday wishes. Man, y'all holler at y'all boy tomorrow. Um, remember, the one-on-one sessions are available. Please hit me up in my DM on IG 
or you can go to the website. My re- I am restructuring my website, so it'll be best for you to hit me on IG. I will try to respond as soon as possible. The one-on-one sessions, they will help you. I want to see you become the best version of you while having the best opportunity and finding out what's best for you. So I just want to let you know, man, God is amazing. And I want to tell you these three things before I go. God loves you. I love you. And if we keep loving each other, the world's going to be a better place. One love.